Oh, hello. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? Good evening. How was your weekend? Silent. Good. Good evening. Ok, my friends, remind me if this was the last exercise. Este fue el último que hicimos. Yeah, ok. All right, good evening again. Uh, well, today we're going to continue with um, nice and uh, interesting exercise. Remember uh, asking for prices in plural and in singular and using one and ones. This is an example. It says put items for sale on your desk or table, notebooks, watches, or bags. Use items of different colors. But we're not in a classroom, we are at home. So you're going to take things like your cell phone, maybe a backpack. I have a backpack here. My daughter's backpack is near me. So I can, I would like to, I would like to sell this. You can ask me. Well, she has a, she has a notebook too. So things that you can sell, understand the activity. Understand the activity. Okay, mm -hmm. says, look, a student A, you are a clerk. Answer the customer questions. A student B, you are a customer. Ask about the price of each, of each item. Say if you want to buy it. So if I'm the clerk, I'm going to say, can I help you? Yes, I like this cell phone. How much is it? So you're going to ask, which one? 
Why? Because it's one. It's one object. When I have two objects, then I'm going to use the plural form. What is the plural form? The same, right? And can I help you? Yes. I like this, this rings. Okay. How much are they? Which ones? The silver ones. Oh, they're five dollar each. Got it? Teacher, ¿qué es Claire? Claire, Claire es el, el dependiente. Okay, gracias. It is the salesperson, yeah. Or I can sell these these headphones. Yeah. Okay. The clerk. How much? Can I help you? Yes, I like these uh, headphones. How much are they? Which ones? The black ones. Oh, they're twenty five. Got it? Comprend it? Got it. Comprend the book. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. But, uh, uh -huh. but a sell in another... Another price. To buy. Yeah, yeah, you can use another price. You can use other objects. Example, Joao is wearing a cap. Uh, Rosa can ask, uh, yes, I like that cap. How much is it? He's going to say, which one? And you say the color of the, the cap. What color is it, is it your cap? Beige? Green? Uh, uh, it's brown. Brown, okay. Ah. Brown. Which one? The brown one. Okay. Oh, yeah. He's Ten dollars. Ten bucks. Yeah. Ten bucks. Okay. Example with the things that we have. Okay. Can you, if you have a, a watch, have a cell phone, headphones, a notebook, things that you have there. Okay. A book. Let's work in groups. Es que mi teacher me sacó de la plataforma. Mándeme otro grupo. Ahorita lo envío. Thank you. 
Teacher. Hello. Me sacó del grupo y no puedo regresar. ¿Qué hago? Ya lo llamé, ya lo llamé. Ah, bueno, por eso. Ok. okay. Sí, sí. No, take it easy. Thank you. Ya. Ya pasaron los cuatro minutos más el, el extra que dan. Okay. Don't worry. Be happy. Es más, ahorita me va a participar. Eh, can you read the first the first phrase? Ya la vio, ya está. ¿Qué dice ahí? Excuse me. Ok, thank you. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me o excuse me? Excuse me. What is correct? Excuse me. 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 Okay, Ab Abimael, the, the second one. They are, they are perfect. Okay, thank you. Maria del Carmen, the, the third one. I like the blue one. Okay, okay, good. Isaac Abdonai, the last one. They're not very attractive. They're okay. not very, very good. Good pronunciation. They're not very attractive. Okay, Rose. Rose, read the fourth one. The cuatro. The, excuse me. They perfect. I like the blue, blue one, blue one. They're not very attractive. Okay, William, your turn. Yes, sir. Can you read the four phrases? The four phrases. The first mm -hmm. one, excuse me. Mm -hmm. The second one, they're perfect. The third one, I like the blue one. And the fourth one, they are not very attractive. Okay, thank you. We're going to stop there. Now listen. Pay attention. We have like little balls here, right? So the big balls means that you have to raise your voice, okay? Raise the tone of your voice most goes up. Like you say, excuse me. It's like the accent. Uh, stress. Accent is another thing in English. Your accent is your American accent or you have an Hindu accent or a Japanese accent. Uh -huh. It's like the so style. That, uh, is this is something like intonation? This is like tilde in English. Stress, stress is similar to tilde in, 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 in Spanish, okay? Or I don't know if I, if you understand. There, there are no tildes in English, but they, they call it stress when you raise your voice or your voice goes up, okay? That is the stress. So, excuse me, they're perfect. I like the blue one. They're not very attractive. Here we have two stresses. When you see the big balls, your voice goes up. So, eleva la voz, okay? That is the stress. Got it? Gabriel, it's your turn. Gabriel Isaac, read the fourth one. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Continue. Second? Yeah, everything, okay. everything. They're perfect. Uh -huh. I like the blue one. They're not very attractive. Excellent. They're not very attractive. Joao, it's your turn. All right. Excuse me. They're perfect. I like the blue one. They, no, they're, they're very 
excuse me, they not very attractive. Ok, ok, good. Recuerde, a este, a esta, a este nivel ya usted ya debe de ir escogiendo su estilo, ¿verdad? Y a todos les digo esto. This is for everybody. You have to choose your style, how you, how to speak English, because everyone has a style. Nuestras voces todas son diferentes, ¿ya? And y debemos de hacerlo con más fluidito, ¿verdad? más cantadito, ¿verdad? que se escuche. Like, excuse me, there, remember, this is a contraction. We say there, they're perfect. I like the blue one. They're not very attractive. They're not very attractive. They're not very attractive. Okay, thank you, you all. Vamos con Orquídea. Excuse me, they're perfect. I like the blue one. They are not very attractive. Okay, now listen, pay attention. And please pay attention to this. Wherever you see a contraction, usted va a, va a mencionar la abreviación. ¿verdad? Pero cuando comenzamos a hablar en inglés y vemos el there, lo hacemos de la forma larga. ¿va? Es, es una cosa que todavía todavía no ha asimilado, ¿verdad? Uno, y uno se va con el they are, ¿verdad? Aquí dice there. Y aquí dice there también. ¿Ok? Be careful with that. Wendy, your turn. Thank okay. you, Orquídea. Thank you, Orquídea. Ok. Ok. Excuse me. They're perfect. I like the blue one. They're not very attractive. Thank you. Juana. Juana Inés. Your turn. Excuse me. They're perfect. I like I like the blue one. They're not very attractive. Attractive. Yes. Thank you, Griselda. Thank you. Griselda Mejía. No está. Ah, muchachito. Okay, good. Eh, Aleida. Okay, teacher. Uh, excuse me. They're perfect. I like the blue one. They're not very attractive. Very good. Thank you. Linda Hazel. Okay. Excuse me. They're perfect. I like the blue one. They're not very attractive. Okay. They're not. They're not. They're not. Okay. They're not. All right, uh, Miriam Maricela. Excuse me, they're perfect. I like the blue one. They're, they're not very attractive. Okay, good, thank you. Christian Josue. Excuse me, they're perfect. I like the blue one. They're not very attractive. Very good. Thank you. Laura? Laura? No. Jose Alejandro? Francisco Armando. Okay. Excuse me. They're perfect. I like the blue one. They're not very attractive. Very good. Thank you. Good pronunciation. Okay. This is the thing how we practice. Okay. This is how we practice our English. This is just to warm up our class and turn the calor and warming up the class and practicing pronunciation. If you see these phrases are simple, the only thing you have to do is 
practice. Yeah, like practice the conversations in part A of exercise three again. Pay attention to the sentence stress. Y ahí estoy practicando. Ahí estoy practicando. Got it? Okay, let's go to the next exercise. In this exercise, this uh, says, I'm sorry, what are these things made of? Understand that question? What are these things made of? ¿Dónde fueron hechos? ¿De qué están hechos? Thank you. Eh, excelente. Yes. ¿De qué, ¿De qué fueron hechas estas cosas? ¿De qué están hechos? Identify each one. Use the word from the list. Mira, aquí tenemos cotton. What is cotton? Algodón. Yes, yes, yes. Rubber. Goma. Goma o nosotros diríamos hule, ¿verdad? Gold. Oro. Oro. Silk. Seda. Seda. Leather. Cuero. O, o piel, ¿verdad? Cuero o piel, ¿ya? Silver. Plata. Plata. Plastic. Plata. Plastic. 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 Wool. Lana. 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 De, la, de la naturaleza. Ah, ok. Muy bien. Muy bien. All right. What are you going to do? You're going to identify the things. Like, this is a plastic bracelet. Yeah, this is a what? Gold. No, gold in English. A gold. Gold. A gold ring. A gold ring. Gold. Okay, continue, please. Write it. Write it. A silk type. A silk type. Perfect. No. A gold. Perdón, el otro que so, es. Uh, wool, uh, wool, sacks. wool sack. Wool sacks. A little jacket. A leather. Uh, leather. A leather, a leather, leather jacket. jacket. Leather jacket. A cotton short shirt. Cotton. Cotton. Cotton shirt. Cotton shirt. Uh huh. Silver earrings. Silver earrings. Silver earrings. E e. Earrings. 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 And? Rubber boots. Rubber boots. Yes. So we have a plastic bracelet, a gold ring, a silk tie, wool socks, a leather jacket, a cotton shirt, silver earrings, and rubber boots. What's the difference between Singular and plural. ¿Qué tienen las oraciones en plural? ¿Y qué pasa con las oraciones en singular? What happened? You have to add the S. Ah. We don't write A. Ah, you don't want to write A. Those are called the indefinite article, right? Indefinite, indefinite articles A and N. If you see in the first example, we have a plastic bracelet. When we say one thing, mire, dijeron los compañeros, well, well done, okay? We don't use A, okay? A or N. Lo, o sea, un o una, lo que sea. All right. In plural, we add S to the noun. So, okay. Yeah, we have socks, we have earrings, and we have boots. I use almost the name of the material and the plural noun. I see the fast, all right? Questions, my friends? No questions? No, okay. Let's continue.
Okay, this one is a conversation. It says, which one do you prefer? Let's study the conversation. But first, Now listen, look, these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wool, the wool one better. The wool one, why? It looks warmer. Well, I like the, I like the leather one better. It's more stylish than the wool one. Mm, there's no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? It's $499. Would you like to try it on? Oh, no, that's okay, but thanks anyway. You're welcome. Expensive. Okay, questions? No. <clears throat> Pronunciation. What is warmer? Warmer. Warmer is a comparative adjective. Ahí estoy comparando las dos, las dos, uh, las dos jackets. Okay. Ya, esta es más caliente que aquella. Okay. Any other question? How yes. Is... What? What? Excuse me. What is the meaning of there is no price tag? Ah, oh, there's no price tag. When you buy, when you buy it at church, when you buy a blouse, a dress, anything, it has a price tag. Yeah. La viñeta. Um, mm -hmm. The price. El precio, ¿eh? la price tag, el tag es la viñeta. Mm. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. No more? Okay. If there are no more questions, let's go and practice with our partner. Sí, que se viene a hablar de esto con ustedes cuando 
Okay, let's continue. We're going to talk about preferences, comparisons with adjectives. Okay, what, what we use? Says, which one do you prefer? That is a question to ask when you have two, two things. Okay, do you prefer this one or prefer this one? Which one do you prefer? I have two ice cream, yeah? I have a chocolate ice cream and a vanilla ice cream. Which one do you prefer? When we answer something like this, for example, with flavors, we, can, we have to say uh, the banana ones. Yeah, uh, in this case, the example I'm giving, I'm giving chocolate and vanilla. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. I know. I just, yeah. I just want to know if you have to say, for example, yeah. Yeah. Uh, banana ones, uh, strawberry ones. Strawberry one. one. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Okay, you're, right. Okay. you're right. You're right. You're right. Okay. Then we have another. Another. Everybody is okay with this? Pregunten, por favor. Yeah. We're talking about what do you prefer? Yeah, what do you prefer? Which one do you do you like better or which one do you like more? That's another question. Okay, that's another question. You can talk about uh, two cell phones between a uh, uh, Huawei and a Samsung, which one do you like better? Samsung or Huawei? You can say, I like the Samsung one better or I like the Samsung one more. If the question is with better, you ask, you answer with better. If, if the question is with more, you answer with more. Got it? Yes or no? Yes, teacher. Good. Yes, teacher. Oh, okay, good. Now, we have that one is cheaper than the wool. Oh, bueno, ya estamos usando la palabra then. Why? Because we are comparing two things of the same kind. We have two things of the same kind. We can we can talk about uh, TVs. Yeah, we can talk about TVs. We can talk about uh, Watch. shoes, watches. Okay. Yeah. And you can say and that one is cheaper than the wool one, okay? Teacher, excuse me. Yes. We use than uh, just with better or includes with more? Oh, where, where, no. Ya terminamos eso. Now we are Pero... talking. No, 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 no. When, when we answer the, the, the question. Ah, okay. Let's go back here. Which one do you like better? You can say, I like the leather one better. 
if if the question is with more, you answer with more. Which one do you like more? I like the letter one more. The bird in the more is the same. Mm, it, the bird is the uh, same. Both are different because better is uh, mejor, right? That one is better. And more is más. It's different. Oh, okay. okay. O sea, literalmente en español, la de cuero me gusta mejor o la de cuero me gusta más. Va, así. But that is Spanish. We have to uh, understand it in English. Okay. I like the leather one better. In, in Spanish, no tiene sentido, right? Traducir eso literalmente. Okay, now. Let's go back. Let's go to the next column. That one is cheaper than. Okay, aquí vengo, eh? That one is cheaper than. When I use then, I'm comparing two things of the same kind, two of a kind, the mismo tipo, right? Can be like um, two cars, can be two. To watches. Perdón, teacher. Ahí está haciendo en la segunda. That one is cheaper. Está haciendo una comparación entre dos artículos parecidos, pero está hablando del más barato, ¿no? Correcto. Ok, gracias. Correcto. This one is nicer than. Ahí usted va a completar, right? The leather jacket is superior than. It looks bigger than. Is more stylish than. Okay, vamos a explicar algo. No es que me dejan que yo he hecho. Oh no, we have problems here. Okay. We have two kinds of adjectives. We have short adjectives like cheap. Cheap is a short adjective. So this is equal cheaper. Then we have nice. Nice is a short adjective. The comparative is nicer. What's the other? Pretty. What? Pretty. 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 Prettier. Best and better. Ya vamos a explicar qué pasó con esto. Okay, stop. We have different rules. For short adjectives, we just add ER. Okay? Short adjectives like short, shorter. Uh, what, other, what other? Cold, colder, hot, hotter. Y ahí vamos, ¿verdad? Pretty, pretty. Aquí he hecho algo malo. Uh, 
Okay. You see, cheap, cheaper. Uh, nice, nicer. ¿eh? Agregamos R. Hay, hay algo otro, sí, ¿verdad? Short. Short. Shorter. Ok. Ah, teacher, pero yo veo que el nice ya tenía E, eso lo agrego R, ¿verdad? All right. Then I have pretty. What happened with pretty? I'm sorry. What happened with pretty? I changed Y to I and add ER. O sea que si tiene Y, I changed it to I and add ER. Yes? Got it? Got it. Okay. And the rest of the class. Got okay. It. Got okay. It. okay. Another example with why we have heavy. Heavy is a, a um, another adjective and heavy has consonant and why. What happened to this? one we write heavier heavier yeah look change y to i and add the other okay yeah. teacher yeah. But, but we have long adjectives que pasa con los long adjectives Ah, pero no los estamos viendo, ¿verdad? No. Ah, vamos a confundir. Ahí lo vamos a dejar. Ok. So, those are the... Uh, we are talking with, about short adjectives, then long adjectives. We're going to start in, an, in another class. There are no questions. We no. Con, we'll continue. Ok, thank you. Now, I want you to complete this exercise. We have one, two, and three.
teacher, one question. Yes. It, to the stylish only add ER. With a stylish? Yes. We're going to add more. Style, ah, stylish that, is... That, it's, a, it's a long adjective. Eso es lo que quería explicar yo. Yeah, it's a mejor por alto, right? Okay, we have long adjective. Stylish is a long adjective. It's not short adjective. I'm gonna I'm gonna explain it right now. Okay. When we have a long adjective like like convenient, convenient, and we wanna say that something about this one, we're gonna say is more or less. Convenient. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. The the adjective doesn't change. We use we can use two words to make it comparative. We can use more or we can use less. More is like a positive meaning and less is a negative meaning. Por eso tenemos more stylish. Así que more stylish, stylish no cambia. Vamos a agregar more or less. Got it? Okay. In this case, uh, the adjective expensive is the same. It's, it's large. It's, 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 it's a large, it's a large, or no, it's a long, it's a long adjective. Okay. Okay. It's a long. Okay. We have, you can use more, or, more less. or less. Yes. Okay. okay. My, my friend, we're going to stop here because time is, is up. We'll continue tomorrow. Okay. I'm sorry, but we have to go. Okay, Abimael Octavino Ramirez. Present. Thank you. Aleida Arely. Present. Thank you. Cynthia Paola. Dr. Tobias. Ella tenía problemas de internet, pero sí ha estado. Entrando y saliendo. I'm sorry about that. Okay, Cristian Josué Leiva. Present. Ay, no, me, no me respondió en un ejercicio, Cristian. Más, más atento, por favor. Francisco, sí, Francisco Armando García. Present teacher. Thank you. Gabriel Isaac Guevara. Present. Thank you. Iris Vanessa Cuellar. Hoy no había Iris. Isaac Abdonai Tobar. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Joao Mauricio Villalta. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jose Alejandro Flores. No. Juana Inés Velázquez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Laura Virginia Castillo. Present, teacher. Thank you. Linda Hazel Fermán. Present teacher. Maria del Carmen Guzman. Present teacher. Thank you. Maria Mercedes Valencia. Ella pidió permiso. Tengo una emergencia. Miriam Maricela Escobar. Thank you. Present. Thank you. Mirna Griselda Mejía. Present teacher. Thank you. Orquídea Esmeralda Escobar. Present teacher. Thank you. Roger Anilber Campos. Or no via Roger. Rose. Rose. Present Hope. teacher. Thank you. Stephanie Lisette Campos. No, Stephanie. Tatiana Emilia Hernandez. Wendy Elizabeth Portillo. Present teacher. Thank you. 
Wilfredo Alejandro Beltrán. Here, teacher. Thank you. William Alexander Fuentes. Present oh, teacher. Thank you. Bueno, felicitarlos. C C Cynthia Paola answer to me. No me chat. mencionó. Sí, ¿cómo no? Me mencionó. Sí. Ah, pues present teacher. José, ¿va? Sí. Sí, hombre. Ay, perdón. Vaya. Tranquilo. Ahí estamos. Ok, felicitarlo porque la mayoría está bien. Ha avanzado en la plataforma y pues van con muy buen puntaje. La mayoría, ¿verdad? Son unos dos, ¿verdad? Que no, no. Pero están, no es tanto lo que tienen que avanzar. Están atrasados, o sea, que se pueden poner al día muy pronto. Ok, my friends. See you tomorrow. Take care. See you tomorrow. See you. Good night. Okay. Good night. 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 Good